It's hard to imagine that possibly one quarter of all living species will have disappeared within the next 50 years. Since the industrial age began 150 years ago, Earth's climate has been changing. It has been getting warmer to the point that climate change now constitutes a threat to many living species. But is there anything we can do to save the situation? Why is the Earth getting warmer? At the time of the dinosaurs, 100 million years ago, there was three times more CO2 in the atmosphere than there is today. Average temperatures were 10 degrees warmer. Organic residues rich in carbon were gradually trapped underground and then slowly converted by pressure into oil, coal, and gas. This is how two-thirds of atmospheric carbon were gradually removed from the cycle. Since the end of the last ice age, 10,000 years ago, we have enjoyed a temperate climate conducive to human activity. But in the space of a few decades, the burning of fossil fuels has released carbon accumulated over millions of years into the atmosphere, upsetting our climate's fragile balance. that evening. I took the car to pick them up. I know it's stupid. By analyzing air bubbles trapped deep in the Antarctic ice, we can learn about Earth's climate in the past. For millions of years, the Earth's temperature varied along the same pattern as the CO2 content in the atmosphere. Since 1850, the concentration of atmospheric CO2 has soared to levels not reached since the time of the dinosaurs. There is a time lag between the rise in CO2 concentration and that of global temperature. We suffer today from the effects of carbon dioxide emissions that occurred 50 years ago. Our planet has lived through a period of exponential demographic and economic growth. Carbon dioxide emissions are a consequence of that growth, which is simply not sustainable. Things we do in our daily life contribute greatly to CO2 emissions. Shall we buy some? That's a good idea. I've always thought that buying strawberries in winter was crazy. I often feel I'm buying things for no reason. The IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has been holding meetings since 1988. This assembly of eminent scientists and economists was set up by the UN to better understand the impact our activities have on global warming. The IPCC's conclusions confirm the existing consensus within the scientific community. Our CO2 emissions are a threat to Earth's climate. Global warming is already responsible for a portion of the natural disasters we are enduring, such as fires, floods, storms, and droughts. It is now a certainty 
Our industrial civilization has reached its limit. We have to think about the future in terms other than fossil energy. It is hard to admit, but the industrial countries have only until 2050 to achieve a fourfold reduction of their CO2 emissions. Yes, but how? How do we diminish the consumption of fossil fuels and uranium and turn our attention completely to the use of renewable energy? This is the question we must urgently contemplate. We believe that the ecological tax reform, also known as ecotax, is one answer to this challenge.